This is part one in a series of videos in which I'll be restoring this Model 33 Teletype machine. They're normally referred to as ASR 33s. Um, whether they are ASR depends on the way they're configured. Um, now this one is in fairly poor condition cosmetically but it seems to be mostly complete. The inner workings I showed in a previous video uh, very briefly seem to be in fairly good order but needs uh, a lot of work. And uh, as you can probably see, I've already had a quick uh, go at cleaning part of it just to see what condition the uh, plastic was in. And as you can see, it's come up extremely nicely. Still needs a polish, but um, it is coming up very clean. I haven't yet found any uh, actual damage on the case, which is fairly unusual, so there are no chips. I haven't found any deep scratches, um, but um, we'll see what comes to light once I get some of this uh, grime off it. Uh, one comment I had, which I'll just head off now because um, it's bound to come up uh, several times as we go through this series, is um, I will be using it almost entirely on RS-232 interfaces. And to make that work, I'll be using this. Now this did come with it. So this is a, a current loop to RS-232 converter. And uh, it allows me to plug the uh, ASR directly into that box and then that box puts out RS-232 and so I can use this um, as if it has an RS-232 interface built directly into it although it will internally be using the current loop and uh, I need to do that because of the uh, reader and punch options that it's got on here specifically the reader. Um, so the first step is going to be to get the cover off and although many people wait until the end to clean the cover uh, I always like to do that fairly early on at least up to a certain point because it gives me a good uh, motivation to make a good job of the internal workings of the machine and in particular if the case comes out very nice then it makes the effort of uh, dealing with the internal mechanisms all the more worthwhile. Um, so thanks for everyone that's commented so far um, keep the comments coming in. This will be quite an interesting uh, restoration. I will be going into quite a lot of detail on this one and in this video it's just really the introduction and basic uh, cleanup of the case. So what I'm going to do now is just pop the uh, outer cover off and I'm going to take it away and clean it. I won't show that. If that's the sort of thing you want to see in future let me know um, but it's just tedious um, cleaning and uh, it's not particularly uh, interesting to put on video. But as you can see it's coming up nice and clean. This is just cleaned, it's not been polished yet and I think once it's been polished it's going to come up extremely nice but I'll, I'll save the polishing until later in the series. For right now I'm just going to clean this off, get the cover off and then we'll have a, another quick look inside to see what the next steps will be. Okay I'll get the case back in a few minutes but just wanted to show this before I clean it off. So this is the right hand cover plate when you turn it over you see all this uh, what appears to be burning on the inside. This is fairly typical for these machines and it's um, there's a lot of heat built up in um, this side of the machine, a lot of power resistors, transformers that sort of thing. And um, this uh, does tend to look like this whenever it's been used for a length of time. It's nothing serious and um, it will clean off but uh, if you do see something like this it is typical so it's not necessarily anything to be concerned about. If it comes back after 10 minutes um, of use then yes that's probably something fairly serious but after years of um, heat and uh, dust rising it does tend to look like this. Uh, one of the comments I had uh, when I was um, introducing this I found various parts inside. It's typical to find uh, all cast offs from uh, services, uh, repairs, that sort of thing in machines like this. And it's uh, surprising sometimes what things you do find and quite often you find spare parts or parts that have been dropped and, and just left in there. And uh, one of the things I fished out was uh, this and um, someone commented it's the uh, pipe for the uh, chad uh, chute, the, the exit. This uh, white piece here is where the chad comes out of the pump. If you're not familiar with this, the chad are the small uh, round paper um, discs that are, are produced when it punches the paper. And it, it comes out of here, it goes along and drops out of this hole. Now it should go down the tube into the 
uh, Chad box which sits on the left hand side of the stand and uh, it was my first thought that that's what this was but I'd already removed the um, pipe that was fitted and also the one uh, that I found in the base is way too big it, it just falls straight off when you put it on it's made of PVC and it does have a tendency to stretch so I've got a feeling this was probably an old one that someone just left in there um, but these should be a reasonable tight or at least a sliding fit uh, on that tube and uh, this one as I say if you try and put this on it just drops straight off it is uh, it's way too big so uh, it doesn't really fit but it might have been um, a repair at some point in the past. Uh, one other thing I'll be doing is uh, reducing the length of the cables they are uh, way too long chances are it was used in a CNC environment or something like that and quite often they're housed a long way from the uh, machine they're controlling so you end up with these huge long cables uh, so I'll be reducing those to a sensible length and um, but I'll be taking all that off anyway to uh, to clean it up and, and rewire uh, the parts that need it and uh, so I'll go away now get the case cleaned and we'll have a look see how it comes up and then we can decide um, how much uh, effort we need to put into the restoration but the plan at the moment is to do a full restoration on this. Okay so after a quick clean you can see it's starting to come up uh, quite nice and clean. Um, it's a bit dull you can see the sort of shiny part here compared to where it's been uh, scoured and scratched over the years um, but I should be able to get this back to fairly uniform uh, nice shiny finish with a bit of uh, Nervous number 2 followed by uh, Nervous number 1 polish and uh, I'll do that over the entire case. I'm not going to retrobrite this case I kind of like to keep the uh, patina so to speak I don't um, like unnecessarily changing the, uh, the appearance of old equipment I just want it to look uh, clean and in good condition so I think this will come back a bit brighter than it is when it's polished it will remove some of the, the browning especially at the top here where it's been most exposed but it will come back nice and bright and shiny and uh, even after cleaning I still haven't found uh, any significant damage to the case there's a, a very minor scratch on the back uh, just on this rear corner it's uh, very minor and it will probably actually polish out and um, the rest of it looks fairly good the clear uh, part of the cover needs polishing up to get, get back to uh, full clear but um, I think it's going to actually look cosmetically extremely good even the front infill panel is in good condition so normally these are all bent and scuffed and scraped this has got a bit of scouring around the knob uh, but the rest of it again I think will clean up extremely nicely it's not bent it's not distorted or kinked so I think that will come back um, looking extremely good uh, even the punch control uh, cover is not broken quite often these uh, get snapped off uh, the spring is still fine and um, again that will clean up nicely you can see uh, the difference between the before and after uh, a quick clean uh, so I think in terms of the cosmetics once all the rest has been cleaned up it will actually come back I think looking extremely good I think it's going to be a very nice example uh, there is a huge amount of work to do inside I have had a, a very quick look uh, but the next step of course is going to be to remove all the uh, major components so I'll do that in blocks I'll take the reader out um, the electronics um, pack on the right hand side we'll take the keyboard out we'll take the printer out and then we'll uh, look at the uh, various mechanisms in turn get it all cleaned up starting from the base and working our way up so that's in the uh, videos to come in this series uh, comments welcome and if there's any particular aspect of this you want to see in more detail then please leave a comment